The eruption of Kilauea continues on Hawaii Island, and scientists have released some stunning new video of the volcanic activity. This footage was recorded on October 12th. It shows the lava erupting from the west vent at the summit crater. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reports the vent is surrounded by a spatter cone that is about 30 meters or 100 feet high. It is supplying the summit lava lake through a short spillway. Consistent fountain heights of 10 to 15 meters or 30 to 50 feet were interrupted by larger bursts exceeding the height of the spatter cone. A small subordinate vent was present on the north side of the main vent. The short-lived north vent erupted for approximately 10 hours. It produced a smaller lava fountain about 3 meters or 10 feet high, with spatter reaching a little higher. Scientists also recorded this view from the air on October 15th. All lava activity is confined to the summit crater in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, with no unusual activity observed in the East Rift Zone. They say seismicity and volcanic gas emission rates remain elevated. The most recent sulfur dioxide emission rate was measured at 2,700 tons per day. The total erupted volume since the beginning of the eruption was estimated on October 8th to be about 15.9 million cubic meters, or 4.2 billion gallons. The lava lake level has increased by 45 meters, or 148 feet, since the eruption began on September 29th. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory says it will continue to closely monitor Kilauea Volcano and will issue daily updates until further notice. On Tuesday evening, a magnitude 4.6 earthquake shook Hawaii, but there was no observable impact on the island's volcanoes. The eruption of Kilauea continues at the summit, and the volcano alert level remains at watch. The earthquake occurred at 8.36 p.m. Hawaii time, 20 miles deep under the southwest rift zone. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory said the quake was part of the ongoing seismic swarm under the Paha Lut area, which started in August 2019. The eruption is now one week old and remains confined to the summit caldera within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. New video released today by the USGS shows the dominant fountain at the west vent, with sustained heights of up to 15 meters or 49 feet. The video also shows another fountain source emerging through the lava lake, over the past 24 hours, the lake level rose approximately 2 meters or 7 feet, with a total rise of about 31 meters or just over 100 feet since the new eruption began. Gas emissions remain high but are on a downward trend. Sulfur dioxide rates were measured at 6,000 tons per day on October 5th. Scientists continue to closely monitor the eruption and will issue daily updates until further notice. The new eruption at Kilauea Volcano continues and the first videos of the event have made it to the internet. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory is monitoring the activity from a closed area within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Among the first videos was this one showing the dominant lava fountain that emerged on the summit crater floor. Overnight, scientists say the solidified floor of the lava lake was already covered by more than 36 feet or 11 meters of new molten lava. The level of the activated lava lake continues to slowly rise. The eruption began on the floor at 3.20 p.m., and an hour later, a new vent opened on the west wall of the crater. The initial moments were captured in this video. In time, the activity on the west wall grew to include multiple vents. With the new eruption comes a new special weather statement from the National Weather Service in Honolulu. Forecasters said areas of volcanic glass, or Pelly's hair, were observed near the summit Wednesday evening and were reported by pilots in the vicinity. On the ground, scientists have documented tephra accumulating downwind of the active vents. 
Residents and visitors are urged to minimize exposure to volcanic emissions. Those with respiratory sensitivities should take extra precaution to minimize exposure. As of Thursday morning, the current volcano alert level for Kilauea remains at warning, and the current aviation color code is red. At this time, all activity is confined to the summit area within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Scientists say they will continue to monitor the eruption for changes in activity and volcanic hazards. Kilauea Volcano on Hawaii Island is erupting once again, following a sudden increase in earthquake activity on Wednesday afternoon and an increase in the U.S. Geological Survey volcanic alert level from advisory to watch. Lava is now filling the summit crater once again. The alert level is now at warning. At approximately 3.20 p.m. Hawaii time on September 29th, the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory detected glow at the Kilauea summit. Webcam images revealed that an eruption had commenced within the caldera. As of now, all activity is confined to the summit area within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Webcams show fissures at the base of the crater generating lava flows on the surface of the lava lake that was last active in May of this year. The Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency issued this radio message at 5 p.m. This is a civil defense message. This is a Kilauea volcano update for Wednesday, September 29th. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory has revised alert status for Kilauea volcano from watch to warning and the aviation color code from orange to red. A warning status means an eruption is imminent, underway, or suspected. Aviation color code red means an eruption is underway or suspected, with significant emissions of volcanic ash into the atmosphere likely. Kilauea volcano is currently erupting in Halemaumao crater at the Kilauea summit. Eruption activity is confined to Halemaumao crater and the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory is monitoring and assessing the situation. Because the eruption is at the summit of Kilauea Volcano, the primary hazard is volcanic gas and ash, which can have effects downwind. VOG has been observed downwind from Kilauea Volcano. For information on gas hazards, please visit the Kilauea Status website. If you experience VOGGY conditions in your area, limit or suspend outdoor activity. For those with pre-existing respiratory conditions, the safest place is indoors or away from the area experiencing VOG. Please keep yourself informed. This is your Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency. Signs of an eruption began suddenly on Wednesday at noon when increased earthquake activity and changes in the patterns of ground formation at Kilauea's summit began occurring. It was an indication that magma was moving in the subsurface. Although an eruption was not certain at that time, the volcanic alert level was raised from advisory to watch. The eruption began a short time later. An early look at the activity is seen here in this photo taken by the USGS as vigorous lava fountains formed in the middle part of the solidified lava lake. These animated thermal webcam images were taken between 2.45 p.m. and 5.45 p.m., and the start of the eruption was recorded. Lava flows have covered most of the crater floor, and the solidified island created during the last eruption is visible in the center. At approximately 4.43 p.m., another vent opened on the west wall of the crater. The vent area and lava fountain can be seen through volcanic gas in this photo. The eruptive activity increased in this area, and by 5 p.m., another vent was growing on the crater wall. The USGS published this map, showing the location of the new fissures at the summit. The new eruption is already generating a vigorous plume of volcanic gas. Sulfur dioxide interacts in the atmosphere with oxygen, moisture, dust, and sunlight to eventually form the volcanic smog. Known in Hawaii as VOB, it can be transported downwind and can have an effect on island air quality. Scientists say the opening phases of eruptions are dynamic and uncertain, and that the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory will continue to monitor Kilauea closely. HEO says it is in constant communication with Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, as well as the County of Hawaii Civil Defense Agency as this situation evolves. The eruption continues at the summit of Kilauea, and scientists are keeping a close eye on the Hawaii Island Volcano. USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory personnel are set up at the edge of the caldera within a closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park in order to monitor the activity. From this vantage point, they collect the information for their daily updates to the public. Today, lava continues to erupt from a single vent in the western wall of the crater, 
All activity remains confined to the summit within the national park. Seismicity and volcanic gas emission rates remain elevated. HEO says the eruption at this vent has been highly variable. The low fountain, only a few meters tall, was frequently interrupted by larger bursts, throwing lava more than 30 meters or 98 feet into the air, splashing down onto the walls of the vent cone. It feeds into a lava lake that yesterday saw another 2 meter or 7 foot level increase. It's all being monitored closely by the HEO geologists. During their field work, the scientists collect high resolution videos, photos, and thermal images. They also take laser rangefinder measurements and maintain instruments. The work is carried out with permission from and in coordination with the National Park Service. Sulfur dioxide emission rates remain high and are the primary hazard of concern this close to the eruption. Even away from the summit, the volcanic gas produces VOG that can blanket parts of the island. The VOG creates the potential for airborne health hazards to residents and visitors, damages agricultural crops and other plants, and affects livestock. HEO will continue its work morning and night and issue daily updates until further notice. Stunning video from above recently captured the eruption at Kilauea, which continued on Monday. A large earthquake that shook Hawaii the day before has had no apparent effect on the island's volcanic activity. On Sunday, a magnitude 6.2 earthquake struck off the southern coast at 11.48 a.m. Hawaii time. Scientists with the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reported that the 22-mile depth, location, and seismic waves of the event suggest it happened due to the bending of the oceanic plate from the weight of the islands, a common source for earthquakes in this area. Other than a few minor rock falls at the Kilauea caldera, there were no impacts to the ongoing eruption. This video was recorded by Mick Calver on October 9th. At the time of the flight, the lava fountains from the west vent were reaching heights of 15 meters, or nearly 50 feet. The fountain has created a spatter cone with a 10-meter or 33-foot-wide opening, which feeds lava east towards the crater lake. The lava lake continues to slowly rise and has had a total increase of about 38 meters, or 125 feet since the eruption began on September 29th. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory recently published a graphic illustrating how deep the lake is, showing how if New York City's Empire State Building was placed at the bottom of the crater, the lava lake level would be as high as the 70th floor. Seismicity and volcanic gas emission rates remain elevated, and the eruption is confined to the summit crater within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. No unusual activity has been observed in the Kilauea East Rift Zone. Scientists will continue to closely monitor the eruption and issue daily updates until further notice. The new eruption of Kilauea Volcano on Hawaii Island continues, and the reactivated lava lake in the summit crater is slowly rising. All activity remains confined to this summit within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Scientists with the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory are tracking the activity and took to the sky on Thursday for a bird's eye view of the eruption. As of Friday, lava continues to erupt from multiple locations on the base and west wall of the summit crater though the number of active vents has decreased over the past day. Overnight, field crews reported maximum fountain heights of 15 meters, or 49 feet, at the dominant vent on the west wall. Scientists say that at the start of the eruption, fountains reached heights equal to a five-story building. The lava lake is rising, but the rate has slowed since the early phase of the eruption. 
Over the past 24 hours, the lake has risen approximately 4 meters, or 4.4 yards. Since the start of the eruption, the lava lake surface has risen approximately 24 meters, or 26 yards in total. Sulfur dioxide emission rates remain high and on Thursday were estimated at around 20,000 tons per day. This is significantly lower than the initial emission rates of 85,000 tons per day that were measured just after the eruption started on Wednesday afternoon. The increase in gas emissions prompted a new message from the Hawaii Department of Health, letting residents and visitors know that poor air quality may cause problems with respiratory health, especially in sensitive individuals. The USGS says seismicity is stable with few earthquakes and ongoing eruptive tremor. Summit tilt meters continue to record slowing deflationary tilt. At this time, there is no threat of lava inundation to nearby towns or neighborhoods. Scientists say no unusual activity has been noted in the East Rift Zone. For now, the Kilauea Volcano Alert level remains at warning and the aviation color code remains at red. There's been a change in the alert level for Kilauea Volcano as the eruption that began on September 29th continues. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory is lowering the alert level from warning to watch and the aviation color code from red to orange, reflecting the less hazardous nature of the ongoing eruption. All activity remains confined to the summit caldera within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Early in the eruption, vigorous lava founding with bursts reaching as high as 60 meters or nearly 200 feet, produced significant amounts of volcanic debris that was blown downwind. The lava fountains reactivated the lava lake at the base of the crater, but as the level of the molten lake has risen, it has partially drowned the vents resulting in subdued fountaining. Also, the amount of sulfur dioxide emitted from the eruption has dropped from 85,000 tons per day to 12,000. In a USGS volcanic activity notice posted on Monday evening, scientists wrote that it is unclear how long the current eruption will continue. They note that Kilauea summit eruptions over the past 200 years have lasted from less than one day to more than a decade. USGS says this ongoing eruption is similar to the most recent Kilauea eruption, which was also confined to the summit crater and generated a lava lake. It lasted approximately five months from December 2020 to May 2021. Scientists say they will continue to monitor Kilauea Volcano closely and issue additional messages as warranted by changing activity. The eruption of Kilauea Volcano continues at the summit caldera, and while the alert level was downgraded on Monday evening from warning to watch, lava is still erupting from multiple vents and filling the lava lake below in the crater. Today, USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory released some new video showing the active lava fissures. Scientists say the west vent continues to be the most vigorous source with occasional bursts up to 20 meters or 66 feet. The lava lake has risen to the base of the west vent where a spatter rampart is being built. Over the past 24 hours, the lava lake level has risen approximately 1 meter or 3 feet. Seismicity and volcanic gas emission rates are still elevated. Sulfur dioxide readings remain high with preliminary measurements on October 4th of approximately 7,000 to 9,000 tons per day. Summit instruments continue to record deflationary tilt. The USGS published this reference map on October 5th. It shows the location of the two eruptive vents that were active at the time the map was made. It also shows the position of several islands on the lava lake surface that were present during the previous five-month eruption. Some of these islands were initially drowned by lava but later floated back to the top. The surface of the lava lake is now at approximately 2,530 feet, 
or 771 meters above sea level. Active lava is now visible from two public visitor overlooks in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. All lava activity remains confined to the summit within the national park, and no unusual activity has been observed in the East Rift Zone.